the $89 Polish Premium Keyboard. I thought it was time to take a look at something a little more exotic, which is why today I'll review a mechanical gaming keyboard by the Polish brand going by the name of Dream Machines. Right off the bat, let me clarify, this is not your usual board of keys. A couple of things have been approached differently with this one. Now even though the brand Dream Machines may not sound very familiar to most of you, I personally enjoy taking a look and presenting the rather more unknown products, even if I tend to not get a whole lot of views on these videos. But let's get to the point. Today it's all about the model Dream Key, the red switch version of it. You do have the choice to go with two more different types of switches, more on that soon. Anyway, this board currently can be had for roughly 89 US dollars and hopefully it can be bought all over Europe and in your future and worldwide too, I hope so. Furthermore, that same exact keyboard can also be picked up in its TKL variant without the numpad. Now what immediately positively stands out, starting with the unboxing experience, is that this turns out to be a keyboard with a removable cable and we are talking USB Type-C. Even more impressive the fact that we get a keycap puller and not only 8 additional spare keycaps of the material PBT, but as a matter of fact, at a price of $89 or yours, Every single keycap on here is not made of the conventional cheap ABS plastic type, turning all shiny and greasy over time, but PBT only. PBT keycaps offer a much higher quality, they're more durable and come with that nice texture. I love that and I believe that's worth an applause, especially given the price tag of $89. Your eagle eyes surely haven't missed that another tradition gets thrown out of the window by Dream Machines when taking a closer look at the keycap labeling slash letters. The Dream Key comes with that stealth look as I call it, with the letters and characters on the side of the keycaps only fully visible at a specific angle. Now that isn't 100% my style, but I don't really despise it either. Some of you will absolutely dig it, others not so much. Other than that, what I dislike about the overall feature set is the lack of a wrist rest. We don't get one. Aside from that, we are dealing with some seriously good high build quality, which also is very apparent when lifting the keyboard. The weight certainly shows. The surface may be plastic, but the keyboard's core structure actually is out of aluminum. At the bottom, there are four standard rubber feet, as well as two stands, also equipped with rubber to prevent slippage. As I mentioned in the beginning already, the 1.8 meter long USB-C cable is removable and can be put into those grooves on the left or right for some clean cable routing. What kind of switches do we get here, though? As a matter of fact, not once by Cherry, but the also renowned Kale Box Red Switches. Mechanical, needless to say. These probably are the most pleasant ones for most of us. Pretty much a universal solution with an actuation force of a mere 49 grams. And on a side note, they're not that loud. These switches are rated for a lifespan of 80 million keystrokes and you can also get yourself the Dream Key with Kale Box White or Brown switches. Dedicated macro or media keys we don't get any on today's keyboard. However, by making use of specific function key combos, you can enable wind lock, change lighting effects, set the brightness level and get some media key functionality too. All that can be achieved without any software, which however does not mean Dream Machines doesn't provide such. The software in question actually packs quite the punch. For instance, macros or other commands can be assigned to each individual key. Furthermore, you can take the winlock functionality one step further. You could pretty much configure it to not only disable the Windows key, but certain other common hotkeys as well. Those that wish to have some fun with RGB lighting will not be disappointed with what the software actually has to offer. I would like to point out though, that the LED brightness even at its max setting isn't the brightest out there. It's plenty bright for me however, still I wanted to let you know regardless. Now I feel quite a few of you want to finally hear the specific keyboard in action, how it actually sounds like when typing on it. Your wish will be granted. So 
So the dream key certainly is a bit of a louder typer with those kale box red switches as opposed to Cherry MX red variants. Although that partially also comes down to those PBT keycaps on here that simply are thicker, more robust, and at the end of the day, slightly louder than your conventional ABS keycaps. To sum things up, this board of keys by Dream Machines does manage to convince me. Even though $89 or even yours usually are considered and associated with budget solutions most of the time in the market of mechanical gaming keyboards, today's model definitely is not, and that applies for both quality and overall feature set. Other, more renowned brands should take note. This Polish brand seems to deliver what most of us crave for. Now, even though typing is a real pleasure with this dream key, I simply cannot praise this keyboard nonstop. As an avid wrist rest lover, I really miss, well, a wrist rest. Where is it? That sure would have been a nice and very essential addition for long typing sessions. Other than that, the Dream Machine's Dream Key with red switches impresses, especially given its price tag of $89 or euros. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, until next time, and please take care.